It's saltbush time. We had a saltbush confertifolia a little bit earlier. This guy, this is spinescens. These are the seeds here. So let me pull off these fruits, which you can actually eat these. Let's see if I can get a better shot. There you go. And let's see if I can get a good shot of the leaves. The leaves are very small. I don't know if you can see them. Very compact foliage. Very different from confertifolia, which had bigger leaves. This plant's pretty good size, about three, four feet high and wide. Again, here in saltbush country. It's in the spinach family evergreen shrub again you could eat those seeds very useful also for wildlife eating the seeds and for cover um, in, a, in a landscape not so much because it's not the prettiest plant good for restoration and salty very harsh sites it's one of the tougher of our atroplexes again one of our salt bushes You'd find this in saltbush scrub in the Great Basin Desert, in the Mojave Desert, probably also even in the Sonoran Desert, maybe. But this is one of our salt bushes. It's a good sized one. Here's one here that doesn't have a lot of seeds on it, so you can see the leaves. Really small. Where Confotifolia had nice, decent sized leaves, Spinescens has the small leaves. And then we have one more salt bush, and that's Canescens, the four winged salt bush. Now, Canescens has leaves that are kind of long. See how they're a little long and narrow? They don't look like Confertifolia. Oh, sorry, Spinescens, excuse me. This is Spinescens here. They don't look like Spinescens because they're not small, and they don't look like Confertifolia because they're not big and round. They're long. Let me see, there you go, longer and skinny. And they're called four wing because the seeds, or the seed heads here, I'll put it in my hand. They have four little wings. I don't know if you can see those little wings on them so that they blow away. Have four little wings and they blow away. And you can see the fruit itself is much chunkier and much more substantial than the fruit of spinescens. Sorry for my hand there. <laughs> Trying to rearrange my phone. Give me a second. But there you go again. Spinescens, canescens. Four wing saltbush, atroplex canescens, spiny saltbush, atroplex spinescens. And growing next to each other, you could see the difference. Spinescens, four winged, which is canescens. I'm also a much bigger plant, so canescens can get, this guy's probably eight, ten feet wide, four to six feet high bigger plant also found all through this saltbush scrub same family as the spinescens which is right there same habitat saltbush scrub mojave desert great Bay De great basin desert probably sonoran desert um, wildlife value is the same a lot of animals live in there and eat the seeds you can also eat those seeds the type of granola i'll have to get dolores to do a demonstration on the video of how to cook that we will do that and like all salt bushes, it needs salty soil, and the plant takes up the salts, puts it in the foliage, and then drops the dead foliage on the ground to get rid of the salts. Let me see if I can find confertifolia over here. Again, spinescens. Okay. This is all spinescens, the spiny one. 
Let me double check. Let's see if I can find a different species. Let's see what this little guy is. Yeah, and here's Confertifolia. So that's the other one. So again, that was Confertifolia, right? Very bigger leaves. Spinescens, smaller leaves. And then the other one is the four winged, which has the narrow leaves. Let me get that to you in a second. Hold on. And I'll put all three together. So Atroplex spinescens is the small one, the spiny one is the smallest, four winged is the biggest. Confertifolia is in the middle. So there we go. Put it in the sun. So that one, four wing salt brush, Atroplex canescens, Atroplex spinescens, spiny salt bush. And then this is what they call shad scale. Saltbush or shad saltbush atroplex confertifolia.